Uh, we have Mr. Uh, Jatil Sharma here from Tejasvi Green Energy Private Limited. So, sir, I would just first want to know how has you been your experience here and uh, what kind of response have you been getting from people who visited you? Oh, uh, thank you very much, first of all, for having me here and our company here. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Um, well, we are a company deals with electric vehicles for a very long time. But we have been, uh, you know, being in the niche market and we don't advertise much for our products uh, because, you know, we have a target audience or target clients. And uh, considering as a niche product, we have not thought over having such kind of a requirement to participate in some kind of a expo. Although we have been uh, uh, participating in a lot of other awards and all. But yeah, this is the first time at this scale uh, we tried doing it and it's a tremendous, fantastic experience. People are so nice, especially the organizing committee. They have planned it and also executed it very nicely, uh, uh, very meticulously. And also the audiences or visitors, those who have visited us. We are taking uh, our own time to explain them. It's not like, you know, uh, uh, very quickly giving them the uh, product demonstration or something. No, because we have been thinking that, you know, we... We have been doing uh, solutioning rather than selling the products. So for solution, solutioning, first thing is that you need to understand the pain points of the business or consumer or customers. Majorly, you know, uh, this has been the case in our uh, company. So it's been a uh, very nice and good experience for all this. This is the third day, right? Thank you. So as they say that every business starts with the pain point, right? And I, when I talk about the green energy, obviously, today there is a huge requirement because uh, there is a lot of limitation when it comes to the conventional uh, fuel market, right? right. Uh, so how do you see this industry evolving? Because I'm very sure in the past, no, not, not a long time back, but in the last two, three years itself, the industry has grown two folds. Is, is what I can see. So, where do you see this industry go, grow, like industry going in the coming years, and what what would be the scale? And uh, because I was reading somewhere from Uber that by 2025 they are looking all the vehicles that comes to your doorstep from Uber to be the green vehicle. So, uh, that are some initiatives being taken by some bigger companies, some bigger giants. So, where, where where do you see this industry as, and how important this is for the generation? Right. Um, uh, well, uh, so from the beginning, uh, it's been almost two decades since we are there in this industry. And uh, you won't believe, but almost uh, till last five years back, it was more like uh, rather than doing business commercially, making it viable, we spend all our time in <clears throat> bringing up the awareness and a lot of awareness programs and it more like, you know, you meet the clients, you understand their uh, pain areas, as we said, and try to give them solution. And when you come up with a solution which is not on the your uh, traditional uh, uh, ICE vehicles or something, basically we are a mobility company. So any mobility solution when you give them on electric, I'm talking about, you know, two decades ago, uh, the acceptance was very low. Two things have, uh, a few things, not two, but few things have uh, uh, maybe, you know, uh, added some kind of attraction in this acceptance of electric vehicles or electric mobility per se. Uh, one is that, you know, unfortunate thing, Corona came up and everybody started loving Mother Earth, uh, knowingly or unknowingly, that we should care for Mother Earth That's and, you know, we should, thing. yeah, they thought that, you know, we should care for environment, nature and all those kind of things which led to, you know, sudden surge in demand, especially in individual mobility cases, like, you know, two wheelers, three wheelers and all. We, as a golf cart manufacturing company, uh, our numbers also increased, added up. The reason is that, you know, a lot of people started living away from the cities. You know, a lot of people have, you know, their own farmhouses and then all other industries are also growing like hospital. So uh, these are our target industries education, uh, resorts, uh, hospital, hospitality, uh, then zoo parks, airports, railway stations. 
everywhere there's a after corona maybe you know everybody started growing up and it added to our volumes apart from this as i said that you know after few years or after five years like uber example that you have quoted uh, well that's a very good thing that uber is thinking but uh, that's not the only initiative coming out from them uh, we also know that government is doing really good and they're pushing everybody to adapt to the electric vehicles in fact there's another scheme by niti ayog uh, and they have uh, been doing it for quite some time now it's called fame faster adoption and manufacturing of electric vehicles in india under which uh, government is encouraging people to uh, opt for electric solutions for mobility and for that they are subsidizing the cost of battery another good thing which is going to add <coughs> uh more numbers as you all know that um, uh, recently we have found lithium mines in jammu kashmir and rajasthan so so far you know the any kind of mobility solutions the heart of it is battery and battery is lithium ion generally people are using now and lithium ion lithium contents are imported from other countries neighboring countries especially china and uh, therefore now if we have our own lithium mines probably the cost of acquiring such kind of vehicles will also go down which will increase the acceptability among the consumers and uh, people around one one thing i want to talk about here is the awareness right of course there's a lot of awareness in the ev sector today yeah uh, like if i could see say as i told 2 years down the line i would see one of the two videos every day where some scooter will be burning some car would be burning but today there is nothing like that right we, we we hardly see any such videos or any such reports on news so did this awareness did this uh, acceptance add extra layer of responsibility to the research team and the manufacturers what was your take on that absolutely um, and uh, as as you say that you know you don't have to make mistakes to learn you can also learn from others mistake so what happens is every time this kind of accident happens you know i'm sure that responsible companies like us and few others uh, they study it thoroughly and uh, whatever precaution is required we take up into our products but mainly it has been happening because this industry got op- opened and uh, you know a lot of demand started coming up so a new entrants are bound to come and when they come probably they are not so prepared uh, with the technology or something you know they want to just uh, push their products in the market quickly and therefore there are chances of you know um, having some kind of a loosens in the entire system right so that is where i think we need a brand like yours yeah. uh, which is responsible and who put who just puts in their effort and time yeah. in the product Uh, because there are many such uh, like new brands who just don't see if the uh, product is really fit for the market or not right so so these things happen because of that is what i also agree on uh, and bigger players like you or people who invest so much in uh, understanding prototyping use cases and then implementation i think uh, that, that that solves the problem to a mile and uh, so coming to the same question just uh, talk, talking on the other point the awareness is increasing for sure the acceptance is there for sure and now it has also become somewhat uh, you know trendy to use an ev right right from, from the gen, gen z perspective right. also from uh, like the, the, uh, like from, from the millennials perspective actually people are looking for an ev solution right but when i talk about the cost part of it it is equal to the other uh, solution as well the conventional solutions that are available right so how, obviously uh, as the manufacturing goes up as the demands increase the product value will come down and the more uh, be charging stations or the setup will be there the ch- uh, rates will come down so how do you think that is that a some uh, is a kind of barrier today that you see it as or uh, like uh, because people will start comparing this people obviously this should not be compared because two different solutions right. but people do compare that so how do you see this as uh, uh, true uh, and actually we in the industry as well as in the government and uh, uh, other bodies like ftcci and other other uh, uh, commerce organizations they all understand the requirement 
which has to go inside the consumer's mind. And when we say, when we talk about this, uh, uh, basically awareness is nothing but to change the perception of people. So when we say, like you mentioned it rightly, a uh, general consumer perspective is that, you know, this is equal cost or higher cost. But that is only the acquisition cost. When you talk about the running cost, variable cost, it's drastically low in terms of EVs. But having said that, having taken this into cognizance, we along with the government, uh, both the sides, we understood and government has come up with, as I said, that fame subsidy for reducing the acquisition cost of the vehicles. Another important point which you touched upon was safety. Now for the safety of it, uh, you know, in the recent past, as you have seen, you know, some of the cases were, and because of uh, easy accessibility of social media, it goes like wildfire. You know, we all like to see negative things first rather than <laughs> positive. So, so anything is burning, you know, it immediately catches your eyes and, you know, then your mind goes into that. But having uh, experienced such kind of things, uh, a deep uh, study was done on it. And now the authorities have come up with the, another standards for batteries. It's called AIS 156. In the AIS 156 standards, it's nothing but, you know, basically your machine uh, uh, should communicate with other important things like your your charger should communicate with your battery and battery should communicate with you. So as a le as as a layman, we understand that you know lithium as an element uh, has a limitation. You know it works well with between zero degrees to sixty degrees, and uh, in this part of the country, especially in Telangana. Hyderabad and Ramagundam being on the top. <laughs> right. the, the Telangana Mobility Valley was set up, I, I think, a couple of months back. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. yeah. So here the temperatures are different and to maintain the lithium, which is the essential element of battery pack assembly, uh, government has come up with this uh, plan. And of course, it has come from the industry, our suggestion, that AIS 156 standard, wherein, you know, it will communicate with the batteries and chargers and whenever it is touching the dangerous levels it should cut off the system so with which as you have seen the new vehicles which have come up now the cases are really really rare now uh, but there are challenges and i'm sure that you know these kind of challenges will come up with any industry which starts from the uh, from the scratch and gradually picks up the pace so one thing the final question i would want to put up here uh, like a year ago, I was in Noida mm -hmm. and I was seeing many societies opting these golf carts yeah. for their, uh, because no vehicle is around on, on, on the ground level anymore because obviously Delhi pollution index is really high. Right. right? So no vehicle would used to be allowed there. So the, ba the vehicle would only be in the basement or up to the club and golf cart will assist you from there if any guest has to visit you or only EV uh, vehicles were allowed yes. in that case. Do you think this kind of initiatives by societies and the construction kings such as uh, be it, uh, My Home, for example, one of the biggest ones here. And I think uh, they also work with the government at some level. So do you think these kind of initiatives will help the sector and the environment in general? Yes, uh, as they are the industry leaders, I think they have already taken this initiative my home is a very old client. For last 10 years, they are using golf carts for their all their projects. They have uh, beautiful uh, properties coming up all across Hyderabad. And it's not limited to, you know, one or two construction companies. But most of the leading construction companies are, you know, having a right uh, kind of thought process. They are going for this. But now the need is that everywhere, like you see in developed countries, for some of the streets, they have made it okay to drive golf carts, although they are not registered. The registration process is like, you know, homologation process, which is very tedious and expensive. And therefore, we uh, keeping our products within the legal limits, we give them 24 kilometers per hour speed only, which is under the CMVR Act. And now this has to percolate down. Uh, a very good thing, uh, our state, Telangana, we, what we have seen is it's not only the properties or builders or construction companies, but also hospitals are using it. Uh, I give you a very good example. One of the five-star hotels, 
uh, they had a challenge wherein you know they had to bring the food from their central kitchen to the banquet halls and the chef being the chef top class chef he says that you know any petrol or diesel vehicle should not come even 50 meters away from my kitchen we have that smell will go into your biryani or whatever food okay so we give them a solution wherein our vehicle directly goes onto his table without having any pollution no noise zero pollution zero emission and they were so happy similarly uh, there was a one case study which was which was done at Nagpur Medical College earlier. Uh, their dean was my good friend. So the challenge was, you know, such a large uh, medical college uh, where the ambulance, on-road ambulance, drops the patient in terms of you know any emergency or accidents from the point where this patient is being dropped from there to the operation theater. If we do the time and motion study, it used to take about eight minutes. And with the help of our vehicle, we reduce it down by four minutes, just half. By doing this, it can save a lot of lives. You know, our vehicle directly goes into the operation theater. And from operation theater to any ward or anything. Because there's no pollution, there's no emission, it doesn't contaminate anything. So, more and more innovative ideas we are incorporating in our product portfolio. Uh, our commitment to our clients or this industry is that at least one new product we will launch every year. And that we have been doing. So right now we have 20 products in our portfolio. In last 18 years, we have developed 20 products. <laughs> so that's a really good initiative to be very honest uh, because innovation is the most important thing that we need. And uh, the best example that I always talk about to anyone I meet uh, is about the Sony Walkman. Yeah. The way they were marketed that it will fit in your uh, pocket. shirt's pocket, yeah. but actually the size was bigger. Yeah. So they gave their salespeople a bigger uh, pocket compared with bigger pockets to market that in, and, and they sold it because Sony manufactured it in bulk. Right. So the product did not fail, but they innovated it with a hook. Right. So that became a style statement again. <laughs> and till today they are uh, working on that and uh, like making them the design more and more innovative. Yeah. So that is, I think, where the EV space is right now. Yeah. Right from golf carts to a hospital just entering in the building. Right. I think that's a very good uh, in, in like a, a initiative of innovation that you are into. And I wish you all the best and thank you so much sir, for giving your time. Anything you want to tell um, the camera who will be where, who'll be seeing us. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, my uh, message to everybody who is uh, seeing us here, discussion. I mean, although there's a, a very good movement of electric vehicles, but there was a sudden uh, down uh, because of, you know, certain incidents. But we can assure you that EVs are safe. Only thing is, we request you not to compromise on quality. When you compromise on quality, probably, you know, uh, you may not know where you are compromising. The simple thing is that, you know, if something is uh, some product which you are buying and it you think this is very economical or cheaper, definitely, you know, they cannot give you the quality. So stick to the good quality. And I assure you that EVs are safe and for better future for your next generation, we must adapt to the electric vehicles for your regular mobility and any other mobility. Yeah, thank you. Sure, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.